Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so that's the the Stain D uh, RC tank, fully 3D printed, uh, designed by Stain D that you can find on Thingiverse. But uh, there was a problem with it, which I'll explain to you in this video. So as you can see, there are four views here. Okay, on the right is the original drive view and the original uh, non-driven track wheel, and then uh, this is the track wheel driven track wheel designed by auger and this is the uh, track wheel designed by me okay the free spin the free wheel spinning uh, track wheel so as you can see the difference between the normal track wheel the original one has spoken which causes the issue causes jamming so I removed them and created this okay that has no spoken to it and uh, so you can see the obvious difference here as for the drive view okay the original one has a very rounded uh, cavity inside which the, the issue that it, it caused is pushing the track away from the from the drive view so auger there's another user called auger made the improved version with a more rectangular cavity inside you can you can find this file uh, i'll put the link in the description below so on the tank part on the tank part the right side has the original uh drive view and the non-driven view designed by stain d whereas the left has the improved track wheel improved uh, track wheel and also uh, the improved uh, drive view designed by an uh, auger so i'll show you the drive video uh, now that you can see that the right side track keep jumping and making clipping noise which is very very loud because the left one is much smoother let me show you the demonstration now so I'll spin the right track okay which has the original parts as you can see it's jumping now I'll show the, the left one with the improved wheels way smoother and then now I do a drive-by uh, forward then you can see the wheel on the right which is this be jumping the one on the left uh, will be more normal more will be uh, rotating together with the in line with the wheel Let me give you a closer view. Look at the, the track on the, the side further away from us. Oh, that's tough. Let me do it again. So as you can see the side with the smoother track 
can rotate much better than the one with a jumping track. It can't even be driven straight when, when there's, there's a difference. I want you to see, able to see the outer wheel track jumping. See, can't when the throttle is low, it can't even be driven. See, but this one is much further, easily engaged. But also on the other side, this. You can see he's bouncing. Let me explain why. Okay. You see, originally all the wheels here has sprocket. This is a sprocket, I mean okay so so of, of course you need the sprocket for the drive wheel but the problem is when you have sprocket on the next wheel as well this pin over here they couldn't align properly to the inside of the sprocket the cavity then the next one couldn't align as well the next one couldn't align properly into the sprocket until the tensioner so they, they cause jam over here. There's huge resistance on every of this wheel. So when the track, the drive wheel has resistance and then due to the design of the cavity, it's round down there. There's nowhere to go. It's either go forward or go upward. So it can't go forward because of the resistance. So it has to go upward. That's why it keeps jumping. And you can see I had the tension very very high very very tight and it's still jumping also to note that uh the left side is using my uh improved drive uh improved uh, track wheel and also the one by auger then um, the result is that uh, you will need to lengthen the tensioner the track will become more loosely that's why you have to use our tensioner as well well, to make it more tension and then it'll be very very smooth ready all right so to use my improved track wheel first you print august drive wheel then you print four of this track wheel that has uh, no cavity inside and uh, the tensioner uh, you have to print a new tensioner as well the one without a sprocket and also uh, four pieces of this tensioner, two on this side. Okay, so if you have any question, any problem, you can contact me in the comment below or in uh, the Thingiverse, which is in the link that I provided. So, hope you have a fun driving this after it's improved, it becomes much smoother. And uh, thanks for watching my video. And uh, if this helps you, if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, give the thumbs up. Click the thumbs up. Thank you. I'll see you again. Bye.